The happy person has God for their helper and their hope is in the Lord. That's what the psalmist tells us. I'm reading from Psalm 146 this morning and he, he says there, put not your trust in princes nor in the son of man in whom there is no help. When we and we we have this this issue all throughout humanity we have that we want a leader we want someone to represent us the israelites god was their king god had given them the law god took care of them provided for them and what did they want well they looked around at the nations around them and they said we want a king over us like the nations around us have god said well okay but if i give you this king here's what he's going to do and he he showed all the problems with that, and sure enough, all those problems came. They, they wanted a man that they could put their trust in. They wanted a man who could help them, a powerful man in a position of power and authority and leadership that they could turn to and, and trust and, and that he could be their champion in time of, of need. Well, God tells us, he says, look, he says, don't put your trust in princes, nor in the son of man in whom there is no help. Why? Well, he says, because his breath goeth forth. He's going to die. We're, we're all mortal. Man doesn't last, you know, 70 to 100 years or so. That's about all we've got. <clears throat> we get frail and we pass away. Our breath goes out, goes out of us. He returneth to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Any of those thoughts, plans, ambitions, dreams, uh, those things, they, they, they die with him. So in other words, man's frail, man's time here on earth is limited. Uh, man's not all powerful. He's not all knowing. He can't be everywhere at one time. He's, he's located to one particular place. And as a result of that, he's a fragile, fallen creature. And God says, don't put your ultimate hope in these people in positions of, a power, of power because they're going to fail and they're going to fall. Instead, verse 5 says, Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help. Verse 3 told us, The son of man, there is no help in the princes, but happy is the one that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord is God. So our helper and our hope must be in God. Now, <clears throat> does God use men? Of course he does. God calls people to serve in positions of responsibility and and authority, representatives uh, in positions of governments, whether it be a king or a president or a prime minister, doesn't matter, those, those kind of things, God does use them. But is that where our hope should be in that man, in that person? No, our hope should be in the Lord. And where happy is the person who has God for his help, who has God for his hope. And here's, here's why, verse 6, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever. He gives us two reasons uh, for having God as our help and as our hope. And he goes on in the rest of the psalm and, and praises God for a whole bunch of other things. But, but these two primary things we want to look at, and that is because God is the creator. In other words, Every day when we look at this creation, we realize just how incredibly powerful God is. With a word, he spoke this all into existence. Man can't do that. Man on his best day can't even come close to something like that. And so God is powerful. God is creative. God is genius. Okay. And secondly, he says, which keepeth truth forever. Man is sinful and fallen and fallible. Man is susceptible to bribery, uh, susceptible to blackmail, susceptible to weakness, to all kinds of different things. And man doesn't always tell the truth, but God does. Not only does God tell the truth, God is the truth. God keeps the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. If you want to be happy, if you want to have help and hope in this life, put your trust in God. And I just want to encourage you to do that. Jesus is the way. Put your trust in him. God bless you. Have a great day.